Hey guys, it is Keisha from Keisha Knows Nothing or a little bit of something where I am all about affordable fashion and home goods and just overall saving you some money on your purchases because I love to save money and if you're here, you probably love to save money too. So make sure you subscribe and thumbs up the video as well and watch some of the other videos on this channel. Today's video features my current favorites for spring slash summer. We're not quite in summer yet, but we're getting there. And of course, these items are affordable. So again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. My first items are from Bath & Body Works, and I went to their recent sale for buy one, get one free, or buy two, get two free, something like that. Then I bought four candles total, two of which I gave out to my mother-in-law and my mom, and I bought two for myself, of course, because how can you not? One of the scents that I fell in love with in the store and I have been burning ever since is this white tea and sage. It smells very, Hmm, I don't know how the best way to describe it. It's kind of like walking through a garden, but not overpowering in any way. But it's very light, it's a clean scent. Um, it's not overpowering, like sometimes you can get a scent from Bath & Body Works and you just gotta take the lid off the candle and let it be. You don't even have to light it because <laughs> it's so strong. This one is very light. Um, I don't know the best way to describe it. It does kind of smell like a tea. Um, kind of herbal, medicinal, but not in a bad way. Like I said, it's very light, it's kind of refreshing. I really enjoy this scent, and I, green is one of my favorite colors. It's pretty much my favorite color, so of course I love the packaging. I think that's very spring forward. This candle I think will forever be on one of my favorites lists, and that is the Vanilla Birch from Bath & Body Works. I just love this scent, it smells so good. It's almost like a cologne, but not a strong cologne. Like, a, I'm just not really into overpowering scents, if you can tell. Um, this one is just, it's my favorite, it's my favorite. Um, and it is vanilla birch, like I said, and it's white birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, warm sandalwood, and essential oils. And I just love it. Vanilla is kind of one of my go-to scents if I really just need a smell good item in a pinch. Like most stores carry vanilla scented something. So um, it to me, it's kind of the best overall scent that you can have for a candle. If you don't know what to get, go with vanilla. The other item that I purchased was the foaming soap in sweet mint and rain. Again, green. <laughs> green is one of my favorite colors. I love the packaging, it's very spring forward. And I love this scent as well. It's not like the traditional, um, when you think of Bath & Body Works um, fragrances, you usually think of all their sweet stuff that's like sugary and smells like cookies and stuff like that. This is not that at all, it's kind of a, a light, it's kind of like the smell of spring after the rain, you know, but um, better, <laughs> but better in my opinion. So um, yeah, this is made with vitamin E, shea extract, aloe, and natural oils, essential oils. So I love their foaming soaps, they work really well, and they last a long time. So um, if you haven't tried them, you should definitely try them, and this is from Bath & Body Works. This next item I actually mentioned in my, I think my Dollar Tree Beauty Finds video. And if you haven't watched that, go check that out. But this is the Wet n Wild Blush and this color is Mellow Wine. And I'm wearing it now actually. This is a buildable color. You can just kind of brush it on a little bit or you can layer on more if you really want a more impactful shade of pink pinkish color it's kind of like a blush pink but a little subdued blush pink and I really like this one it actually shows up on my skin very nicely and it rinses off well nothing left behind and I just I, I don't know for a dollar to find a blush that works so well I can't be mad at that this other item I bought at Dollar Tree as well and this is actually a recent pair that I purchased but I have um, a black pair just like these in my car and I decided to go ahead and get the purple pair too and I'm gonna put this one in my car too so when me and my husband are riding together in my vehicle we can both have sunglasses because for some reason he likes to take my sunglasses and wear them even though even if I'm the one driving <laughs> at the time so um, yeah I decided to get these purple ones purple used to be one of my favorite colors it still is kind of one of my favorite colors but um, 
I don't know, I thought these were fun and cute. And for a dollar, they're not bad. Like I said, I already have a black pair in my cart and they work great. So just to get a different color frame, it's the same sunglass, you know it works well, why not? This is True by Made Beautiful and it is the Damage Control Repairing Deep Treatment Mask. And I love, love, love this mask. If you are following me on Instagram, which you should be if you're not, it's Keisha Knows Nothing on Instagram. Go over, follow me. But I posted about this recently. This deep conditioner is great. It works so well on my hair. It has great slip. It makes my curls pop immediately. It is such a great deep conditioner. It smells really well. Like I said, it has a really good slip. It contains uh, mango, shea, rice water, and guava. And I think this is the first product that I've ever used that has guava in it. So um, it works well for me. And I have type four curls, so it's very tightly coiled hair. Sometimes it can be frizzy, pretty frizzy in certain areas, but I love it all the same. I wanna take care of it all the same as any other type of hair. So this product is, um, I wish they made it in a bigger container because I have a feeling I'm gonna be using a lot of it. Okay, let's move on to some clothes real quick. I did a, I think it was a Fashion Nova haul a few months back or a few weeks back. And so these two items that I'm gonna mention, well, one of them was in the haul, the other one was not in the haul because I hadn't really got around to wearing it and I wasn't sure I was going to wear them. But these jeans, y'all, I did wear these in that haul and I love them. I love them. Um, they're a flare jean, which I'm a sucker for flare jeans, and they have distressing around the thigh and the knee, and it's not too much distressing for me. Like, I personally don't really want jeans that have large holes in them just, just yet. I don't know. Maybe eventually, but if I find the right pair, you guys, I probably would get some like that. But this is just the right amount of distressing for me, and it's on both sides. And there's faux pockets in the front, and the, the, sorry. <laughs> and the, um, it has a button detail in the front, closed button detail in the front, no zipper. Um, these are supposed to be high rise jeans. Um, I guess you can wear them high rise if you want to. You don't necessarily have to. You can kind of wear them mid if you wanted to. Um, and they flare all the way out at the bottom. They're super cute. Um, and they're very, very stretchy, which I am all about. <laughs> I'm all about the stretch. I love these jeans, and yeah, I'd probably buy them in another shade of blue if I could. If I can find some just like it in a darker shade of blue, I will probably get them. These particular shorts are Bermuda shorts from Fashion Nova, and um, they have a good amount of stretch in them, real pockets in the back and in the front. They have the button detail at the fly, just like those jeans. They have a very light amount of distressing around the pockets area. Um, but for the most part, they're, they're simple, basic Bermuda jeans, but I, I don't know. I just, I love the wash of them. I love the amount of stretch that they have in them, and I just, I don't know, there's something about a nice pair of Bermuda jean shorts for me. I have long legs. Sometimes you wanna be a little modest when you're out and about, like if you're going to maybe a baseball game, a kid's baseball game or something like that, you may wanna be a little bit more modest out and about. So um, there's just something about a Bermuda short that can be cute and comfortable all at the same time. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed a post that I made about these shorts from Walmart. Um, they were less than $15 and they are so cute. These are like a blush rose, blush pink color. And there's they have a frayed hem, so it's a kind of a distressing here and here. Um, a little over on this side, frayed hem. Um, and these are four inch shorts and they're not short shorts at all. To me, I was kind of worried. I was like, I hope these shorts aren't too short because I, you know, I just, I don't want them to be too short. I don't want them Daisy Dukes on. But um, these are just right and they fit so well. They fit so well. They frame my body just how I like them to. Um, and it's just a cute color. Like I, I don't know when the last time it was that I bought a colored jean short or a colored jean in general it's usually blue blue maybe black 
Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about these. So that was my haul for you guys. All of these items were affordable. <laughs> so you know I gotta keep it affordable, of course. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and also thumbs it up. Follow me on Instagram too at Keisha Knows Nothing or a little bit of something. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.